lies. Do you just tell white lies? Well, you know, I mean. What do you mean by white I lies? I don't hurt anybody. Okay. I save myself. Okay. Now, have you ever stolen something or just white things? I, I've been known to like once or twice. You, once or twice? <laughs> just say yes. No, yes, I have all been right. known to once you or see, twice. I lie. Yes. <laughs> so, what do you call someone who steals things? A thief. So, what are you? I, I uh, occasionally, you know, if I can get away with it. I didn't know that about you. <laughs> so, what do you call someone who steals things? A thief. So, what are you? I'm not a thief. <laughs> That's right, you're a lying thief. <laughs> exactly. So, Miles, I appreciate your honesty. Folks, come a little closer. There's a line there. We imported that line from China, so it's great that we use oh, it. Oh, what are they going to do now? So, they're just so I don't have to yell so They're going to throw me under the bus. <laughs> There's no bus, Miles. Okay. Have you, ever used God, have you ever used God's name in vain? No. Now, this is the one that nailed me to the wall. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Or just white yes. woman? Just white woman? <laughs> white lies, white collar crime, no, no, and white woman. Many All women, colors. trust me. Oh, woman. So you know the man? Me, yeah, for 20 years. So, Miles, I'm not judging you, but you just told me you're a lying, thieving, bless, not a blasphemous, lying, thieving, adulterer at heart. But I'm a good person. No, you're not. You're like the rest of us. <laughs> lying thieves aren't good people. They're bad people. Only the good die young. Well, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be living to 100 years old if the good die young because my heart's the same as yours, okay? Yeah. So here's the rub. If God judges you by the Ten Commandments, we've looked at four of them, on Judgment Day, you're going to be innocent or guilty. You know, he saves everyone. So that wasn't innocent. the question. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't want that answer. I want an answer. Yes. If God judges you by the Ten Commandments on Judgment Day, will you be innocent or guilty? That's innocent. the only two options. Innocent? Mm -hmm. So you haven't lied, stolen, or looked at women with lust? No, he's just going to blow it off. It's just going to blow it off? <laughs> Try that in a court of law if you've committed a serious crime. We're not crime. talking about a court of law. We're talking about the pearly gates. He's That's right. And God is, God, is a, God is the ultimate judge. Channel 5 News is <laughs> You want Channel 5 News here? No, I don't. I'm just friends as well. with those guys. So anyway, Miles, you're just like the rest of us. You'd be guilty on Judgment Day. And the Bible says you'll end up in hell. I would hate that to happen to you. I like you. You seem like a great guy. Thank you. And I care about you. And that's why I'm telling you this. Okay. It's like if someone's got cancer, you've got a cure, but they keep saying, no, I'm healthy, I'm healthy. So no, you face it. You've got cancer. And when you realize you've got cancer, say, here's a cure. And I'm trying to say there's a cure to death. The Bible says Jesus Christ has abolished death. Now, that's a crazy statement. But listen to what the Bible actually says. No, but I understand that. Well, stay with me. I am. 2,000 years ago, God became a human being, Jesus of Nazareth, a perfect sinless man who suffered for the sin of the world. What he was actually doing was paying the fine for the law, for the law that you and I broke. We broke the law. Jesus paid the fine on the cross. I understand. Do you remember what he said just before he died? He said three words. Do you remember what they were? I yeah, God forgive, forgive them. them. No, for... that's not. No. 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 Three words that are quite strange. This is what he said. Just before he died, he cried out, It is finished. In other okay. words, the debt has been paid. Never knew that. Yeah. And then he rose from the dead. It was not possible that death could hold him. And now God can freely forgive your sins, dismiss your case, commute your death sentence. He can dismiss your crimes like a judge can dismiss the crimes of a criminal if someone paid his fine. That's the good news of the gospel. But here's what you must do according to the Bible. You must repent and trust in him. Miles, at the moment, you're like a man who's jumping out of a plane trying to save himself by flapping his arms. It's not going to work. So don't say I'm a good person. Give up trying to save yourself with your own goodness because you don't have any, you're like me. And trust alone in the Savior. The minute you do that, God will remit your sins, forgive you, grant you the gift of everlasting life. Now, do you think I'm telling the truth? Yes. yes, I will take that home with you. You take it home, take it to heart. Do you have a Bible at home? I do. When did you last read it, Miles? Uh, two weeks ago at, at church. That's a long time. And I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish too, okay? Right, cool. Now, the Jewish Messiah was in Jesus Christ. God became a human being. Yes, he provided the ultimate lamb. When John the Baptist saw Jesus, he said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. 
So a Jewish person who believes the prophecies of the Old Testament will embrace Jesus Christ because he was Jewish and he fulfilled Jewish prophecy. I get it. Miles, thank you so much for listening to me. I'm very honored. Woo! It's great to meet Yay, you. Miles. Here's my card so you can both have dinner tonight. Thanks, bro. Okay. Can I give you a book I wrote? Yes. Okay. No idea.